Assembling the duplex accessory can be done after the fact, meaning that you can add it to your printer after you've already inked it up for the first time. So whenever you want, you can add double-sided printing to your base unit for the SureLab D1070. The first step, as a reminder, make sure the printer is powered off. And we're going to put our hands under the printer where the grips are and line it up with this edge on the duplex tray piece here and it drops into place. There's no way to make an error here. It lines up only one way. You know you're good when the printer is flush with the tray just like this. Next, we'll want to secure the duplex unit to the printer itself. There's four screws, two on each side. It'll go into this section right here, and we will be using the four black screws in the back. Next, we'll want to remove the top unit from the back of the printer right here. You'll pinch this clasp and pull it out and away from the printer to reveal this section. Then we'll take the paper feed path unit and slide these two edges into the back of the printer here. It only goes one way. It'll clip into place and reattach the piece you removed on top here. You should have four screws left. We'll be using the thicker screws, two of them, to secure these two sections right here. Then we'll take this gray paper feed roller. Sharp tip goes directly into the printer facing this way, right under the blue button. And you'll push in, you'll hear a click when you know it's locked into place. This is when you'll need to decide which kind of media you're loading into the duplex tray, whether it's photo media or map media. Depending on which media type you're using, select the appropriate roller. In this example, we'll load the photo media rollers. So how this works is there are two tiny clasps here that line up with the little arrows you can find in the back of the duplex feeder. So you'll want to angle it up, line it in, and then snap it into place. You'll hear a click. Finally, we'll take the back duplex cover, line it up as so. You should have two screws and two latches left. The latches look like this. While elevating it slightly, we're going to take this edge of the latch and secure it to the printer. It should lock into place slightly, and we're gonna screw it down to secure it. You'll do this for both sides. Finally, just close the duplex tray, share click, and you're ready to print. No additional steps needed. Your printer driver will be ready to print double-sided applications.